बसमीम असल स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू रिज्यूम आवर स्टडीज होप यू आर फाइन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग पॉज द वीडियो ब्रिंग योर नोट बुक बुक एंड हाई लाइटर नाउ स्टार्ट हाई लाइटिंग विद मी आई विल रीड द लेसन फॉर यू एंड एक्सप्लेन द लेसन एंड यू विल हाई लाइट इन ऑन योर बुक एज वेल okay as uh, as i told you earlier in the class uh, that this time you will have 20% of the paper from the book reading so you have to highlight these uh, lines and uh, remember these lines students we were doing chapter 9 introduction to html5 uh, we have done structure of a website what is html HTML editor and HTML coding. Now today we will do structure of an HTML document. Now we will discuss how to code the HTML. Let us start by discussing the various components of uh, HTML. Like uh, we have three components: elements, tags, and attributes. HTML elements and tags. a web page is made up of html elements and elements are identified by html tags like you can say html element is one statement of html document 133 html element and tags a web page is made up of html elements and html elements are identified by html tag please highlight it and html tag always begin with a less than uh, sign less than sign and ends with the greater than sign and these signs are called angle bracket we will call it angle bracket for example the tag for making the text bold darker uh, less than b and greater than sign we put tag b before the now we will call it tag this is b tag we put a uh, tag b before the text that we want to format in bold this is the opening tag or the on tag we put a uh, closing tag like slash sign we put angle bracket slash b and closing bracket after the text this is the closing tag or the off tag the off tag is the same as the on tag except that it has a forward slash after it to make the text html tag bold you write the following in the text editor uh, starting tag uh, starting bold tag html tag and ending bold tag and whatever you will write in these brackets it will become bold and if you forget to uh, close the tag whatever you write after the starting tag it will be show bold when you view the web web page in a browser the text will be look like html tag bold one an html element consists of the opening tag the closing tag and anywhere everywhere in in between Uh, some elements do not have a closing tag container elements html elements that include both on and off tag are called container element highlight this line from your book page number 134 for example uh, uh, bold tag this this text is in bold and close the bold tag this is called the container element if we have on and off tag both we will call it container element and in contrast with the conte container elements we have empty elements which have no off tag html elements that only have one tag uh, on tag and uh, do not required an off tag are called empty element um, empty elements for example the line break we will use uh, br in angle brackets and the horizontal rule tag we will write hr in angle brackets
HTML attributes. Attributes gives us extra information about the element. They are always specified inside the starting tag and have an uh, have a name valued pair. For example, language attribute of the HTML tag specify the language of the web page while the title attribute specify the title of the paragraph. And SRC like source attribute of the image tag is used to specify the URL of the image. For example, angle bracket img src equals to flower.gif. It will give the source of the image. Image source will be given by the src attribute of the HTML tag. HTML rules. Like every language, HTML also have some rules which we have to follow. H tag names and attribute names are not case sensitive. For example, uh, body tag with the capital uh, letters or upper case is the same as the lower case. However, using lower case is recommended. Attribute values number two, attribute values should always be enclosed within quotes. Double style quotes are the most common, but single quotes are also allowed. Attribute values can be case sensitive. The World Wide Web Consortium W3C, the body that develops standards and specification for HTML document recommends lower case attribute values. We will discuss later on in detail that which tags will be written in lower case and which tags will be written in the upper case. Space between tags do not matter. For example, body tag starting tag b uh, tag bold text and uh, closing text is same as the uh, body text with the spaces and body text in the new line these all are same tag names cannot contain spaces for example body with spaces is not the same as body without spaces there should be no space between angle brackets in a tag so do not write uh, like uh, angle space angle bracket space b spaces and close the bracket or angle bracket slash spaces and then b element can be nested for example if we want to underline text and also make it bold we can write the correct order is this uh, bold tag underline tag uh, the statement you want to write and then close uh, you have to close first underline tag and then bold tag the tag which is used first close at the end the tag which is used last close earlier so uh, like in maths you use the brackets same like that the same uh, case we will follow here however the following is incorrect Structure of an HTML document. An HTML document contains two distinct parts, head and body. The head section contains information about the document. The body section contains everything that is displayed on the web page. It includes text and graphic. In body, whatever you will do, you will see in the web page and in head, in head you will give the information about that page here is the basic structure of HTML document uh, like you have a letter format application format same like that we have the HTML program format this uh, doc type tag this is basically not a tag this is the instruction giving to the web browser that in what and in which uh, version of HTML is written okay which which version we have used here we are using HTML5 head <coughs> head and body are the two parts of HTML document basically we have HTML tags and then in between two portions head and the body whatever we write in the title we uh, that will be displayed in the title bar of the web browser and whatever we write in the body it will be displayed in the body of the uh, web browser
Now you will do descriptive type questions in your notebook and after writing the questions you have to learn these questions. The first is write structure of an HTML document with an example. You cannot change structure, you, can ha you have to copy it from your book either or either from the slide. The second question is write any 5 HTML tag with functions and examples. You can write any, you can find it from your book, you can write any 5. Uh, and for example, if you have, uh, you will write uh, bold, you have to write that it will bold the characters and you have to write an example for it as well, like bold tag, Pakistan, bold tag, close.